was something truly surprising. He was one of the last groups of test subjects. Just another patient I expected to babble and maybe even die. Patient 105, Leslie Withers. Reuben had singled him out as a useless subject, but he must have known. He knew I would read his notes. What else was Reuben lying to me about? But this Leslie, he emerged cognate, calm, and able to report fully what he'd experienced inside. His unique pathology allowed him to successfully navigate his STEM experience with little repercussion. They know nothing of his existence, but no doubt he is the key. If we all share the consciousness, then with him, I too should be able to experience the STEM, potentially even suppress the more unsavory aspects of it. With him, I can be the master of the very technology I helped create. Mobius will see my worth and let me rise even higher in their ranks. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. We probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. Focus the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. 
Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. Losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. Killing Joseph? That's not going to help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Sebastian. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> it's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. You take him! You should have followed your orders, kid! Here, Agent Kidman. <laughs> I know all about you, kid. I know who you are. <laughs> Don't be a coward. Come out, damn it. <laughs> Kidman! 
sins you are ashamed of. <laughs> 